Hi everyone, this is Spencer here with Caseproof, and in today's video I'm going to go over what it takes to get started with MemberPress. So on the MemberPress website you'll be able to see the different options for the um, editions of MemberPress you can buy, whether or not that's the business edition for one simple site use or the developer edition which is designed for more than one site. And once you've taken into account the different aspects of each edition of MemberPress, you've decided to buy. So assuming you've already bought the plugin, you're going to log into your account on MemberPress. And here, you're going to be able to find the different versions of MemberPress as well as your activation key. So um, here we have the stable version, which currently is 1.2.4. And by the time you're viewing this video, I'm sure we'll have our next stable version out. Um, only download the Edge version if you're advised to by the support team. That's really just there for that kind of a purpose, but the stable version should be what you want. So you're going to download the plugin and then activate the plugin on your website. So if, we, if you go to your site, you go to Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, then you're going to find that file that you downloaded for MemberPress, and then click Install Now. This will install the plugin on your page, and then you're going to want to proceed to activate the plugin. Now, when you do this, two error messages will pop up at the top of the screen. One, that MemberPress hasn't been activated yet, with a convenient link to the activation page, and that MemberPress hasn't been configured yet, and a convenient link as well to take you to the options page so you can do that. So let's start by going to the activation page. Here's where you're going to want to enter your activation key. Now I'm going to do that and then I'm going to click activate license key on this site. So I've went ahead and done that. Um, here you'll be able to see your license key and how many sites that your license key is being used on. I have the developer edition of MemberPress so here it says two of unlimited sites. If you have the um, just the standard version of MemberPress and here it will say one of one. Now, after you've hit the activation key, then you're going to want to configure your options. And this, again, this error message is still going to be here. So why don't you just click that and then you can proceed to the options page of MemberPress and go through that setup. In this video, we won't be going over it, but in a later video, we will. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.